Now let's work on the large menu. This menu that I'm talking about. So we'll try and recreate this. It looks very nice exactly, but so it's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I tried my best to make it easier for you. So you're gonna see. So let me minimize this like this. Okay, and let me go to the components and then the header. Let me create another one. Let's call it the all menu.js. IFC. Remove this and let me go back to the header itself. Let's go down. So this is gonna be beside this icon. So we're gonna after this, which is the menu. I'm gonna have it right here. Let's go uh, let's call it so it's all menu and I've imported it right here. So we can go right here now and start working, okay? So the first thing is we're gonna have the class name for this is gonna be all menu and go then inside it and then we're gonna have all menu header which is gonna be menu right here okay and then we're gonna have okay and then we're gonna have an all menu wrap and then also we're gonna have the scroll bar class to it and then we're gonna have it all left okay and this is gonna be for all left and then we're gonna have all dot on menu search and then inside this we're gonna have a, uh, an icon which is gonna be the em uh, e -M -M and then underscore s underscore ic i don't know i have it like this it's gonna be an i because uh, we so we know that it's an icon okay like this and it's gonna show which is the search and after this we're gonna have an input and the input is gonna be type text and the placeholder is gonna be search menu like this okay so after that after this div we're gonna have an all menu group group like this and inside this we're gonna have all menu group header and this is gonna be the header so the first header and i'm talking about let me go right here so the header is gonna be this one okay as you see in social entertainment this is all gonna be headers okay so let me go back to the application first and go back right here, okay? So this is going to be the first one is going to be social. Like this. And then we're going to go inside right here and we're going to have the item, okay? So now we're going to work on the item, which is going to be every single one of them. And don't worry, we're going to do it in a pretty awesome way, okay? So let's work on it first. So this is going to be all menu item. Okay, that's the first thing, and then we're gonna add the class hover to it, hover one. And then inside this, we can have the image. Okay, and then we're gonna provide the source. All the images for this is gonna be, for example, images for for the testing purposes. Campus this PNG. Okay, and it's gonna look right here. I'm having it all in the public folder. You can go to the left, and you're gonna find all the images that we are using right now. Okay, so let me go back to where we at. Let me close this. So this is the image and after the image we're gonna have a div let's call it all menu call which is stands for column and inside this okay and inside this we're gonna have a span two spans one's gonna be for the name campus and the second one is gonna be for some tests okay let me just copy it we're not gonna do it this way this is just for showing you how it looks okay you can take that so i probably have to use select none so let me just get it right here from the inspect like that copy all of this and go back right here and have it here okay so let me go back okay so let me go back like this and now we're gonna work on the css i've have them all right here so in this txt file everything is gonna be included i'm just gonna copy them because if we you know write every single one of them you're just gonna watch me write everything for 40 minutes and that's too much okay so right here we just can add it right here, okay so from the all let's go back so this is the all search all menu okay so it's quite a bit of code but it has all of the things necessary that you need for this code okay so let me just go so we're just gonna position it absolute and move it you know related to this change the background this is gonna be not light this is gonna be bg secondary so it's gonna be like uh, like this okay also let me see anything that has the light is gonna be removed okay like that okay because in my first uh 
one i had the this added to them so now let's remove them i included to you like this okay so you're not gonna have to do this so i'm just need to remove them okay so because in the beginning i had them like this okay so now it's the way that we want okay so another thing that i've added to you which is you're gonna go to the to the source and you're gonna have right here you're gonna have a folder that's called data and we have all the data you need for all the menu okay so first of all we're gonna have these ones that you see right here which is gonna be a list of them i had all of them right here which is gonna be the name and also the description and the name of the icon okay and we're gonna get all of this from here and then we're gonna display them right here and also for the one that's gonna be on the right i also added them and also the name of the icons okay this one's right here okay so it's gonna be less work for us so let me go back right here and let's go back to the menu and let me import this so let me import the menu and create which is both just an arrays so they're gonna call uh, gonna get them from let's go get them from they're gonna go to the data and then we're gonna go to the all menu okay and then we have them right here so instead of writing everything like this i'm just gonna go and take this div you can have it in a component if you want but i'm just gonna leave it right here i think it's not gonna hurt if you add on a component okay it's it may be like um maybe better okay so this is a component i'm not gonna lose anything we can go into the header itself and then we're gonna go all menu item dot gs okay and just rfc and just paste this in the return like that remove everything from here and this information is not gonna be from here so it's gonna be passed so this is gonna be the description from that we have description and also this is gonna be the name and uh, okay and this all coming from here so name and description like that and also for the icon we're gonna like this back six so we're gonna go two times uh, to the left folder and right here which is gonna have the name which is gonna be as a variable that we're gonna pass which is gonna be the icon and then here it's gonna be dot png okay and let me get the icon from the properties right here and this is going to be pass so we can go after the social and we just call the all menu item like this and then we're going to pass the information that we have right here okay so the way that we're going to do it is we're going to go through the array that we have menu and then we're going to map through it okay and a map to get all the elements inside the array and name them item and then right here make it also the id or the index so we can play with that and right here we're just going to simply call the all menu item okay like this and we need to pass the properties for them so they're going to be displayed so we're going to need to pass the properties for them so the first is the name and the name is going to be from the item dot name okay name it's going to be from the item dot name okay name and they're going to be displayed right here everything is coming from the let me go to the data where is the data so all the data right here as you see from the objects we have the name the icon and the description which is so i'm just getting them from there okay so this is the first thing also we need to pass the description okay equal description like that and now it's going to show it's going to be item the description sorry also we're going to need the icon which is going to be icon equal to the item dot icon like this okay and now we've seen this but we don't want them like this so we only want to show for example for the social it only has like one two three four five six so the way that we're going to do it is simply there is a function uh, for the arrays that's called slice so before mapping we need to slice it you know and then from zero to six so we're going to just okay so this way we can take all the menu group like this let me just copy that if i am doing this right okay i'm going to copy that like this and we're going to paste it again and this time it's not going to be social let's see what we have we have entertainment okay so and then right here we just change this to entertainment entertainment sorry if i have a, if i had any typos you just fix them for yourself okay i don't think this is uh anything special and then this time we're gonna go not from six to uh, zero to six we're gonna go six to nine which is gonna be the three elements that we have for the entertainment so i think now you get what i'm doing so do it again and this time it's gonna be let me shopping i think after the let me just 
see them okay yeah it's gonna be shopping okay let me entertainment i don't know i don't know if i write this right entertainment so i think this is right i believe so okay now after the shopping we have personal okay but first of all for the shopping we want to show from let me go right here from the shopping we're going to show from 9 to 11 okay like this and also we're going to take that again paste it and now from shopping it's going to be personal double it's going to be one and then we're going to have one two three four so we're going to have four elements ready to show so let me go right here the four elements that we're going to show for the personal so it's going to be from 11 to 15 that's four okay and in personal we have four copy that again let's see what else we have i know this is boring but i have to do it you can just copy the source code if you don't want to go through all of this boring stuff let me get the name because i don't have to use a select like that i'm gonna get it okay and it has how many items it has one two three four okay so it's also have four so we can go back right here let me copy this here and this is going to be four so it's going to be from 15 to 17 this is going to be for the community resources okay what is this i'm not the community resources now we are at the ads so this is going to be ads um my bad so this is not going to be community resources this is going to be professional like this okay it's gonna only show two. This one that's gonna be four, okay? So which is gonna be from uh, this is gonna be eleven to fifteen. This is fifteen to seventeen. That's gonna be. Let me copy that. This is not gonna be professional. Here we're gonna have what we had community resources, and it's gonna be seventeen to twenty-one. Okay, let me see. Let's go back right here, and now everything looks fine for these. We still need last one which is going to be this is just wrong right here this is going to be more from meta i've i had this type one and fixed this from the official website so it's going to be more from meta and then this one is going to be from 21 to 23 to 23 we're only going to show the last two so now if we want to back this is all we're going to need so the left side is now organized i think this is a bit easier it looks tr uh, trickier but it's actually easy it's better than go and writing every single one of them it's actually a lot of you know problem and a lot of writing okay so now we're gonna know uh, work on the right place so let me see what we have okay so let me go back right here and let's go after working on the left let me close it so this is all left let me close that and after that we're gonna have all right like this and then we're gonna have an all right header which is going to have create and after that as you see now everything is all right and then we're going to have all right item and also it's going to have the hover one okay and this is going to be a bit easier so you can just have it all right here so right here we can just simply go and take this and we're going to go to create which is the the array that we have and map through it and get the item and we're gonna show this div right here okay one thing that i forgot to do let me so i don't forget it on uh, on all of these items you need to add a case uh, a key because it creates a problem okay so we're gonna have so a key is something that defines key is something that defines it that should be unique okay or you're gonna get an error or a, a warning so okay is gonna be the index of the elements okay like this so and then let's continue right here so inside this we're gonna have simply the icon which is gonna be i and the class name so let's create it and the class name is gonna be simply the item the item dot icon okay like this and as you see now it's shown and after this we're just gonna have the name of the element which is gonna be so this is gonna be inside the div i think okay yeah yeah this is inside the div so the div is called all right circle and this is inside it like this okay and after that we're just going to show the item dot name like this okay and as you see right now if we go back we have the form menu already okay 
to the left and all of the right are now working fine okay and the last thing i'm going to do is the scroll bar as you see the scroll bar sorry so we're going to use a, a custom one that we're going to make so let's make it i'm going to make so let's make it right now so we can go to the index and after all of this we can simply go right here and call it scroll scroll bar okay and then we're gonna have the div the name of the div which is what scroll bar and then we're gonna go to the whip kit uh, okay let me just fix this quickly add star right here so it doesn't come in everything inside so the scroll bar and then we're gonna go to the whip kit and then we're gonna select the scroll bar okay like this okay and then we're simply gonna get make it you know a lot you know the width you're gonna change it and make it a lot smaller okay so anything that has the scroll bar is gonna make it a lot smaller and then we're gonna go to the scroll bar itself and then let me just go to the scroll bar and then we're gonna go to the whip kit to the whip kit whip kit scroll bar and then we're gonna go to the thumb okay and this is going to be simply going to make the background let me see if i can see this color from my phone which is a e a e a f a one okay like this and then we're simply going to make the border radius five pixels okay and that's going to create a custom you know scroll bar for us okay so now this the new uh, scroll bar which is the same one that facebook uses so this is way better than the normal one is. The normal one is pretty ugly, okay? We're going to make this not visible in the beginning and say we click on this button, then it's going to be visible and we're going to click outside to hide it. And this button is going to go both ways. So it's going to click to open and click to close at the same time, okay? So let me have a, a state right here. This is very cool. So let's call it show all menu. Always have your state to be you know, understandable for you. So set show all show all menu like this and we're going to take this variable and the, the all menu itself which is this one only when this is true then we're going to see it so it's going to be inside this and now it's going to be invisible okay so we can go to this element which is the div that holds this icon and on click and we can simply have an arrow function and then we're going to set the show all menu as you see for if we make it just true then we're going to click on it is going to make it visible but we click again nothing is going to happen okay so now we're going to see uh, if this is true now it's visible we're going to when you click again it's going to be uh, to make it false and when this is not visible that means it's false we click again to make it true and this is simply most of you just go and this like this and just go or do the opposite so when it's false make it true and we still make it false okay to hide it and hide this but the best way and the most consistent way is to get the previous value and then you just change it to the opposite of the previous value okay so if this is true now it's going to be false now it's false we click again it's going to be true and this is how it works simply okay also we're going to work on the click outside so let's have a reference for this element so let's call it all our menu like this and let's go up top let me create the call is cost all menu which is going to be used with and this is going to be null okay and we're going to uh, call the function use click outside and then we're going to pass the all menu reference and here we're going to have an arrow function and all it does is set the show all menu to false so let's click here and now it opens click outside it hides click here click here and it hides and this is actually very beautiful okay so this is the way that we do it, pretty simple and straightforward.